Today, we're diving into the dark web, a misunderstood corner of the internet with both risks and opportunities for cybersecurity professionals. This video is for educational purposes only. Misuse can have serious legal consequences. Let's dim the lights and jump into the top 10 dark websites for ethical hacking in 2025. Number 10 on our list is the Hidden Wiki, the infamous entry point to the dark web, known for its mysterious allure and potential dangers. It's a chaotic user-edited directory of onion links. Think of it as a messy map, not a destination. This map is filled with paths leading to both intriguing and perilous places. For ethical hackers, it's a way to find forums, technical resources, and cybersecurity communities. But caution is critical. One wrong click can lead you down a dangerous path. The hidden wiki also links to illegal and disturbing content, making it a minefield for the unprepared. Use it with a clear goal, strong OPSEC, and never click aimlessly. Always be aware of your digital footprint and protect your identity. Treat it like exploring a dangerous building. Get in, find what you need, and get out. The longer you linger, the higher the risk. Focus on security-related links and avoid the rest. Prioritize your safety and stick to reputable sources. Always use the Tor browser, never download unknown files, and keep your guard up. Vigilance is your best defense. The hidden wiki is a classic, but only valuable if you approach it with extreme caution. It's a tool, not a toy. It's a starting point, not a playground. Respect its power and potential for harm. Know what you're looking for, and don't linger. Have a plan, execute it, and exit swiftly. Number nine on our list is Daniel, a specialized search engine designed specifically for the dark web, a part of the internet that's intentionally hidden from traditional search engines. Unlike Google or Bing, the dark web isn't easily searchable. Sites are often hidden behind layers of encryption, their addresses are long, random, and frequently change. Dead links are everywhere, and there's no central index to rely on. Daniel steps in by letting you search for keywords, usernames, or even code snippets across thousands of .onion sites, making the unsearchable a little more accessible. For anyone involved in OSINT, threat research, or tracking malware discussions, Daniel is an invaluable tool. It helps you find conversations, leaked data, or even emerging threats that would otherwise stay buried. The results can be hit or miss since the dark web is always shifting but Daniel's powerful filters help you weed out dead ends and focus on what matters. Think of it as your digital recon drone, scanning the vast shadowy landscape for relevant information and hidden gems. Use it to track discussions on vulnerabilities, monitor hacker chatter, or spot new exploits before they go mainstream. You can even see how attackers plan their exploits, giving you a crucial edge in anticipating threats. While it's not perfect, no tool is in such a chaotic environment. It's currently the best way to actively gather intelligence in a space designed to be hidden from view. Daniel transforms the dark web's notorious anonymity into a searchable resource, arming defenders with the insights they need. For anyone serious about targeted information gathering, Daniel is absolutely essential, a flashlight in the darkness of the hidden web. Number eight is Tor Links, a more curated alternative to the hidden wiki. It's a cleaner, more organized directory of onion sites with a focus on quality over quantity. For ethical hackers, Tor Links offers dedicated sections for security, privacy, and hacking. This saves time and reduces exposure to dangerous or irrelevant content. The links are more reliable and dead ends are less common. It's a great next step after you've scoped out the basics. Tor Links streamlines your research and helps you find legitimate resources faster. Still, always use strong OPSEC and skepticism. It's a solid, reliable bookmark for any cybersecurity professional. Number seven is SecureDrop, the open source whistleblower submission system used by major news outlets. For ethical hackers, studying SecureDrop is a lesson in secure system design and operational security. It's built to protect anonymity using Tor, encryption, and air-gapped systems. Understanding SecureDrop helps you defend against insider threats and data leaks. It's a real-world example of privacy tech used for good. Explore its .onion pages and technical docs to learn how high-stakes secure communication works. SecureDrop is essential knowledge for anyone serious about digital security. Number six is ProPublica's .onion site, a trusted source for investigative journalism. Their reports cover cybersecurity, data breaches, and surveillance providing valuable context for defenders. 
Accessing ProPublica via Tor adds privacy and bypasses censorship, especially in restrictive countries. It's a practical example of Tor's anti-censorship power. ProPublica's presence on the dark web shows it's not just for criminals. It's a tool for journalists and activists, too. Use it to stay informed about the broader threat landscape. High-quality information is as valuable as any hacking tool. Number five on our list is Dread, often described as the Reddit of the dark web. This notorious forum serves as a central hub for a wide range of underground discussions, making it a go-to destination for those seeking information that can't be found on the surface web. While a significant portion of Dread is dedicated to illegal marketplaces and black market dealings, there are also entire subdreads focused on topics like cybersecurity, hacking, privacy, and digital freedom. These subcommunities attract both seasoned hackers and curious newcomers. Within these spaces, you'll find unfiltered discussions about software vulnerabilities, reverse engineering techniques, operational security, OPSEC, and the latest exploits. Members often share detailed guides, code snippets, and real-world attack scenarios. Simply lurking on Dread can provide a unique window into the mindset of attackers, revealing how cybercriminals think, plan, and adapt to new security measures. You'll also spot emerging threats before they hit mainstream news. But extreme caution is essential. Dread is under constant surveillance by both law enforcement agencies and criminal groups. Every move you make could be watched or logged. Never use any personal information and avoid repeating usernames or passwords from other sites. Protect your identity at all costs. The best approach is to observe quietly, take notes, and cross-reference what you learn with trusted sources. Treat everything with skepticism. Dread is a high-risk, high-reward environment for those interested in passive intelligence gathering. The potential for valuable insights is matched by the dangers of exposure. Thanks to the platform's anonymity, you'll witness candid conversations, raw opinions, and sometimes outright misinformation or scams. Not everything you see is true. Your challenge is to filter the signal from the noise, separating genuine intelligence from deliberate deception or rumor. For ethical hackers and cybersecurity researchers, Dread offers a rare, direct window into the adversary's world, an opportunity to study tactics, techniques, and procedures firsthand. Use this access responsibly, strictly for research and learning. Never engage or participate in illegal activities. The intelligence you gather here, if handled wisely, can be truly invaluable for understanding and defending against real-world cyber threats. Number four is Zerobin, a privacy-focused alternative to Pastebin on the dark web. Zerobin encrypts data in your browser, so the server never sees your content. It's perfect for securely sharing code, IP lists, or sensitive notes during research or CTFs. The encryption key is in the URL, so only those with the full link can decrypt the paste. You can set expiration times for automatic deletion. Zerobin is a practical example of client-side encryption and zero-trust design. It's simple, effective, and essential for secure, ephemeral communication. Use it to collaborate without leaving a permanent trace. Number three is C-Templar, once a leading end-to-end -end encrypted email service with Tor access. While C-Templar has shut down, similar services remain vital for secure, anonymous communication. For ethical hackers, a privacy-focused email is essential for research, disclosures, and protecting your identity. Look for providers with open source code, zero knowledge architecture, and onion access. Tor-based email hides your usage from ISPs and protects your metadata. Standard email just isn't secure enough for sensitive work. Secure email is a must-have for any serious cybersecurity professional. Choose wisely and always prioritize privacy. Number two is Tor Metrics, the official dashboard for the Tor network. It provides real-time data on users, relays, bandwidth, and censorship events. Understanding Tor's health is crucial for safe, effective operations. Use Tor metrics to assess anonymity, spot trends, and inform your risk decisions. It's a gold mine for data-driven research on privacy and censorship resistance. Don't operate blindly. Know the state of your tools. Tor metrics replaces guesswork with hard data. Number one is privacy tools the ultimate resource for privacy-respecting software and services. It's a curated, community-vetted guide to VPNs, encrypted messaging, secure OSEs, and more. Privacy Tools helps you build your personal OPSEC toolkit with clear, objective recommendations. 
Accessing it via Tor ensures privacy and resilience against censorship. It's about empowering you to secure yourself and others. The site is organized, detailed, and always up to date. Privacy Tools is foundational for ethical hackers. Knowledge is your best defense. Secure yourself first, then help secure the world. This is the most essential dark web resource for defenders. That's our tour of the top 10 dark websites for ethical hacking in 2025. The dark web is a tool. Use it responsibly, legally, and ethically. Stay safe, stay informed, and keep building your skills.